Hey guys, this is Rise Along with Cholera bringing you another set of dual commentaries. This time we're going to be doing Lake Half Oz vs. STX Soul minus one set. Uh, the second set is actually going to be the commentary of the week, so uh, that's going to be done with Deathbed 210. Uh, or it's supposed to be. It's scheduled to be with Deathbed 210. So you, you should he should be up by the time all this comes out anyway, so don't even worry about it. All the rest of the games, though, that I will be doing with Cholera, and we got some exciting games here. This is a powerhouse matchup with a lot of big names. We're starting it off with Hayafu versus Huashin, and uh, Huashin, a great TVT player. Well, a pretty good player overall, a pretty good TVT player. Uh, Haya most known for beating Firebat Hero in the end of the Pro League, so uh, not the best TVT player, but good enough to uh, make this match exciting, I'm sure. So uh, they're going to be playing on uh, New Harmony, Neo Harmony. So going to be an exciting match. We've seen some other pretty interesting games on this already. Me and uh, Cholera did Light vs. 4GG, I believe. And uh, that turned out to be a pretty good game. So what do you think? We're going to see another exciting one or what? Well, hopefully we will. I mean, this map has led to a lot of exciting games recently. Uh, you know, Jadong versus Firebat Hero, the one you were talking about, uh, Stats versus... Um, I forget which one it was, mine. but that was also another nail biter at the end. Yeah, Stats, Stats versus, versus mine. mine, where it was, yeah, almost being a tie. So this map is very good. I like it. By the way, uh, we have Haya as the green Terran and Hwasen as the yellow Terran, and I believe Haya is at the upper right and Hwasen at the upper left. So uh, Hwasen playing for STX, Haya playing for Lake Half Oz. Um, Haya 41% against Terran, his weakest lineup, and uh, Hwasan's 52% against Terran. So uh, I am going to give a little bit of uh, a favoring here to Hwasan, but um, you know anything can happen in a long Terran versus Terran. Could be short though. Hwasan is a uh, you know I've definitely seen a lot of aggressive strategies from him. I think he's better in the early game than in the later parts of the game. He reminds me a little bit of Nada, sort of like that. He goes for things like forward raxes. He goes for uh, two fact builds or fast rates. I've actually not seen too many standard games from Hwasan in Terran versus Terran. Uh, he hasn't been doing great recently. Um, he was eliminated from the MSL, uh, I believe, by Cal. Yeah, Cal, I think it was. Uh, or was it Bisu? I'm not sure exactly who, but he was. A, it was Bisu, yeah. It was Bisu. I was thinking of Cal versus Iris. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're seeing a, uh, once again, like I said, a Ford Rax. Um, it looks like a Ford Rax from both players. So they're both going to play this uh, rather aggressively. They're going to use that Rax to. Put some pressure with early marines, and also the scout, uh, lift it up and, and scout the enemy base. Yeah, it's a pretty good tactic. Got to make sure that you are aggressive on this map. We know how important it is to uh, try to keep control, keep the player inside their base. Uh, we saw that in a couple of other TVTs that we've commentated in the past, and it's pretty pretty important aspect. You, you actually beat me to it. I wanted to uh, say kind of how much of a letdown Hwashin tends to be for me. I always think he's like this great player who's going to do great, and he is good it's in some matchups. a red sniper. Yeah, well, especially in, in TVZ, he's particularly good. <laughs> but I just don't... I, I, I always get let down by him. I always expect so much more, and then he's just like, uh, actually, I'm going to lose this game. So it's too bad. Hopefully we can see some better games from him now, though. Uh, I, I just I don't know what it is. I think he needs some more practice or something like that. See, the factory going down now for uh, Huashin, it's going to be scouted by Hayafu right away. He's going to see that and, uh, I guess, be able to guess what build is going on. It looks like a couple of Marines from Huashin are being sent over to uh, Haya. I don't know if that's actually a Marine or something else. No, it's an SEV. Sorry. Never mind. Just a scouting SEV. And Haya actually... It looks like he's going to go for a fast expansion. I didn't see um, the gas on Quashin. No, it looks like he still has three SCVs on his gas. So it looks like we're going to see maybe a two-fact build versus, or, or maybe a factory port build uh, against... He's only got two on gas, though, against a, uh, a fast command center. Although I'm looking at Haya's base now, and it looks like... Does he have a second factory building there, or, or was I just seeing things? Uh, I think he does not have a second factory going up, um, but, you know, Hwasen, believe it or not, he is Toss Girl's favorite player in the world, so he's got that going for him at least. Uh, you know, I mean, all the Bisus in the world, oh, and the Starport going for Hwasen, you know, all the Bisus, the Mantosses, the Boxers, the Nadas, Cute Boy Nada, the, the Frozians, I mean, out of all of them. Hwasen gets Toss Girl's pick, so I mean that is not a, a small feat there. Um, anyway, first Vulture out for Hwasen. Hwasen going to try to do a little bit of harassment here. 
and uh, he's meanwhile gone for that early starport. But the thing is that Forward Rax is gonna uh, is gonna scout it. Meanwhile, we're seeing the command center going up for Haya, so it's gonna be at Haya's reaction time here. Can he react in the correct way uh, against this build? And we'll see whether it's for drops or if it's for uh, rates. I, I believe it will be for rates given the timing. And uh, you know, the correct thing to do is to get that. Um, Goliath out. You really want a Goliath out, and uh, it helps you to defend and later to attack. Um, although at this point we might have eventually seen engineering bay, that is possible also. A uh, little bit less effective. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, this will be the last commentary of the year. This game played on December 31st, 2008. What a what a great year it has been for commentaries, right, Rise? I mean, we've seen uh, the rise of so many commentators. That, you know, from the beginning of uh, the year. I mean. Uh, you know, you were around, Psionic Reaver was around, Diggity, Moltrap, and Kleiser are around, but I, I started off this year, um, and, you know, a yeah, whole yeah, lot definitely. of new commentators started out this year, and, uh, you know, it's been it's been a fantastic year for StarCraft commentary. And why don't you introduce the uh, new guy we have on the front page at SC2GG.com? Oh, that's right. Our new friend, Ranchin, has joined the ranks of SC2GG front pagers. Welcome to the front page, Ranchin. We're glad to have you. He's been putting out a lot of videos recently. He's actually done a couple of dual commentaries already with Nuke the Stars. Uh, I believe they can be found on Ranchin's account, which is uh, Ranchin DA, I believe. SC, I mean, uh, YouTube.com yeah. slash Ranchin DA. Why don't you spell it? So what? Uh, R-A-N-S-H-I-N-D-A. It's yep. uh, right. definitely worth checking them out. And by the way, Wraith is now out, and it is in uh, Haya's base. Haya has a second factory up now. I didn't see if he had a uh, armory down quite yet, but it looks like he's going to try to do some harassment. There is an armory, so we're going <coughs> to see Goliaths and po uh, possibly Terran boosters. I don't know what's actually upgrading in there. Uh, by the way, I also wanted to say Quashin, yes, while uh, Toss Girl does say she, that she likes him, uh, he should have acted on it by now, and if he hasn't, he's never going to get any from him. Her. So, forget him. He's not in the picture. <laughs> Everyone who is interested in yeah, Tosco, she's not you dating still, him. You still have a chance. You can still get in her pants. Well, maybe not, but you could try. You, I'm sure you'll be the first one who's ever tried. Who's you know uh, the first male StarCraft fan ever to try for a Tosco girl because uh, she's just so unattractive. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Looks like these two cool crates uh, are going to do a little bit of damage inside the space, <laughs> and. Uh, I don't think it's going to do too much, though. There's Goliaths coming out, and uh, there's the scan. So, uh, oh, nice dodging there from Hwasen. Hwasen, I, I feel, it hasn't done enough damage, though. I think he is behind right now, getting a second factory up. Um, Haya definitely was prepared with that barrack scout. We should have mentioned that, but we were busy uh, promoting Ranchin. Um, he did and get Hwasen. that Rax into Hwasen's base, <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, Hwasen uh, is going to get scouted, and this is uh, not looking good for him, in fact. He's got tanks out, so uh, he's not going to be able to be killed off by Goliaths, but Haya has got a better economy. He's got what he needs to deal with a couple of uh, rates, and it uh, looks like the fact the barracks will actually go down for both players. Uh, yep, both players losing their barracks. Uh, not going to matter that much. I think both uh, will probably just rebuild it, although there's only two up for Hwasen, so he will have to rebuild it pretty soon. Um, yeah, I mean, th this game is uh, kind of interesting so far. I, I mean, Haya uh, did beat Firebat Hero and made him cry. And for all those who will ask, it is an SC2GG Rises account. There is at least yeah. a minimum of one person who asks where it is every time I mention that incident. But it is a much-watched incident, because if you watch it, you will understand more about StarCraft. You understand why we love Firebat Hero, basically, because he is hilarious when he loses, too. Yeah. Well, you gotta, you gotta, it's gotta be mentioned that uh, Haya actually has a really funny ceremony at the end of that video too, um, which I, of course, make fun of him for. I, I couldn't do any less than that. To oh, try is to, it the, uh, you know, <laughs> the water cooler one? The yeah, the one where he tries the to, he tries to, <laughs> he tries to lift a uh, one of those giant Poland Spring uh, canisters over his head. It and wasn't he giant. Realizes, it was like three gallons. It was like well, three whatever gallons. it was, he couldn't lift it up. He couldn't get it over his head, and I think he almost knocked himself out. Oh, big spider mine taking out two tags. Oh, my God. Wow. Gotta, I got to remember to uh, commentate the action. But, yeah, definitely check out that video. It still gets uh, comments on it all the time from people watching it. So uh, definitely a big game, very exciting to watch. And uh, it definitely, if you want to see fa Firebat uh, Hero fail, that is uh, the game where you want to watch. And sorry if it's spoiled, but the game's over a year old or, or something like that anyway, so I don't feel that bad. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it looks like uh, Haya is actually pushing in from the bottom, and he is going to be able to push in. And, and now Washington in a lot of trouble. Only two tanks. The Goliath's going to walk right up to the Siege tank, not take many shots at all. Take out the Unsiege tank as oh, well. Wow. And now Siege up on the expansion. 
And uh, wow, Huashin probably probably going to lose this if he can't um, secure that expansion because, I mean, right now, Haya has complete map control on him. He's got Goliath, so Wraiths aren't going to do anything. And he's got tanks coming in from the other side as well. Scan going down. That's actually a big hit for uh, Huashin down to one scanner. So he's going to have trouble, trouble spotting, especially if he's got no more uh, Wraiths, which it doesn't look like he does. And he tries to send out an SEV to uh, absorb some hits, but it looks like Haya is all on top of that. And uh, wow. That's oh, it. Wow. Haya has surrounded him, That's and that, it. I think, is going to be game. GG right there. Well, uh, that is just uh, unfortunate for uh, for Hwasen. I mean, it was kind of a, almost like a build order loss when he was scouted, because uh, that, that build, that Cloak Wraith build, is definitely something you want to keep hidden. Once it's exposed um, against someone who went one fact into Command Center, uh, it can be defended quite easily by a variety of means, and uh, we saw uh, Haya respond correctly, so uh, if you respond correctly Ooh. to it, I believe it's very, very hard to, uh, to win, and, um, you know, Hwasen getting destroyed here. That mine also cost him greatly, losing two tanks there, and uh, this is just all over but the uh, but the GGing pretty much. Uh, he's just going to hold on a little bit longer, you know, keep his pride intact. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of these players, they don't want to GG until they lost at least, you know, most of their forces because I guess it's just for appearance's sake. Uh, it's also for their team. I guess there is like a 0.1% chance of winning, but, you know, like, I just remember Firebat Hero... Um, well, I won't say that anymore. I won't go on to what... <laughs> Never mind. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of players stay in very late. And, uh, you know, I don't fault them unless they're being silly. And so far, we haven't seen too many cases of them being silly. And when they do get silly, they get punished for it. Shaw so that's range. also amusing. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Shaw Shaw range has done it too. a few times. He'll just... Uh, I've actually seen him hide pylons around the map, <laughs> which is the most obnoxious thing you can possibly do. In a regular I've game, never not seen, to he's mention really done that? a game on TV, I swear he's done it. He was putting nexuses and pylons around wow. the map. I don't remember who it was against. Well, did I he think, have a chance? Uh, no, no, of course not. I he mean, was, was, he was, was, oh. He had no units, oh. and the other player had like four bases. And uh, I forget who it yeah. was against, but GG finally coming from Quash and realizing that it's far too late. And Haya actually playing pretty well again in a TVT match. So uh, nice job from him. I apologize for the uh, lack of commentary on the actual game during this game. But hey, it happens sometimes. And uh, it wasn't that good of a game, really. You know, it was it was good to have some. No, it was, it was uh, <laughs> average. Average game. Um, all right. You guys can stay on to game two, but we'll be moving on to game three. Oh, nice little ceremony. GG. GG.